Hey, so I just want to go over really quickly how to make uh, decals inside Unreal Engine. Um, I know I covered this in class, but I just wanted to have a video that you guys could sort of refer to if you got stuck or needed a bit of help on something. Um, so a decal is like a sticker, basically. Um, and the reason that we use decals um, is, you know, for things like this, we could have um, graffiti on a wall or you could do some blood splats on a wall um, but also you can add um, say you had a repeating tiling texture of bricks or tiles on the floor or something um, decals are a great way of introducing irregularity to it without actually needing um, a whole new texture so you could probably have some cracks or uh, exposed brickwork under plaster or something um, as a decal rather than in the texture itself. So here's one that I made about 10 minutes ago. And it is literally just this. Super, super simple. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it from Photoshop because that's where I got this from. So let me open my Photoshop up, get my file, which is in here. So once this loads, I just found a really nice, um, it says it's a PNG, but it's not. Um, so I took it into Photoshop. So I'm going to just start again, bring this one in. Um, as you can see, we've got white background. That's not really going to work. We don't want to be able to see this white background. So I'm just going to select all of that and delete it. Um, and with that done, I'm going to come over to here, once I'm happy with everything that's in that. I'm just going to press Control and click the picture. That's going to select everything that you've painted in on that layer. So if we hide, you can see, I don't know how easy it is to see on a screen recording, but we've got a little outline around here. So once you've got that, we're going to come to the channels um, little tab over here and we're going to add a new channel oh excuse me add a new channel um, and you see this is called alpha 1 and all we want to do is fill in our selection with white because um, as you know black means you can't see it white means you can see it so this is what we need in our alpha um, I'm just going to turn everything else on and turn the alpha off just so that we can see what our image looks like come back to layers um, and literally that's all we need to do. So I'm just going to save this out now as a PNG. I'm going to call this Graph01, Graffiti01. Um, and then we're going to come into Unreal Engine. And all we need to do, I think what I said in class was you need to bring in a decal from here. You don't necessarily need to do that. Um, my mistake, <laughs> unfortunately. So all we're going to do is create a new material and we're going to name this whatever we want. So we will call this Graffiti02. Cool. I'm just going to delete that, delete that, and delete that just so it doesn't get confusing. Um, I'm going to find the one that I just made and I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to open them up, make sure it's okay. Happy with all of that. You, there's a bunch of things that we can change in here as well. Um, if you want, this is pretty cool. We can change the hue of it in here. Oh, that was quite nice. Uh, yeah, let's save it. I like that. Cool. Um, so what we're going to do, open Graffiti 02. I'm just going to drag this in. Now at the moment, this is just a normal um, texture. Uh, normal material, sorry. So all we're going to do is click this. And we need to come over here to uh, Material Domain. And this is where we turn it into a decal. And then you see we get a error message. Um, it needs to be needs to have the blend mode set to translucent. So 
translucent. And then we've got no error messages. Lovely, lovely. Um, and then all we need to do is take RGB and plug that into emissive color. And the alpha, which is what we made in Photoshop earlier, um, we're just going to plug that into opacity. We're going to apply, we're going to save, and we're going to close this once it's saved. And once that's done, we can literally just drag the texture in rather than needing it to be on a deferred decal. Um, so I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to rotate it so that it is 90 degrees that way and 90 degrees that way. And then drag him up a bit. I might scale it outwards but also down. Down, I said. There we go. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, the only issue doing it with this one is that you can't really see the bounds of the box. Whereas if we brought a decal like this, I feel because oh that's cool because I have that selected. I guess that's. Yeah, okay, cool. So if we have this selected and drag decal out, it'll apply it automatically. If we don't have it selected, it'll bring us a blank one. It's pretty interesting. Um, and then what we can do with this one is just replace that and we can see the bounds of it. Whereas with, oh no, I'm lying. You can see it anyway. Okay, cool. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so that's how you make decals. That's super, super, super simple. Um, it's just about remembering how to add the alpha map if there isn't an alpha map on it already. Um, and secondly, what I want to do as well, I think I showed you this in class as well. Um, oh, didn't want to do that. Uh, oh gosh, I've lost it now. Place actors there. Um, what was I going to do? Cube. So, if we bring a cube into the scene, this could be anything, and we move it in front of this, you can see that it's casting or you know projecting onto the cube as well. Um, and sometimes you might want that, but in this case, you know, imagine this is a character. We don't want it to appear on the character. So all we need to do is come over with the object selected, come over to details panel and look for decals. Say receive decals and you set that to false and then you can move this into it and it's not going to project on that. Um, so if you have something passing in front of the wall or you know anything that you just don't want to receive the decal, this would be interesting. If this was on, what we can do, um, if you drag this out a bit, you can see that it starts to fade. So that's just basically um, where the bounds of this decal would be and where this box is now coming out. So you see this line here. So if we get our decal and scale it this way. Oh no, not that one. Uh, graffiti, sorry and we scale it this way, you can see the bounds are getting bigger, so it's now encompassing the whole thing. Um, you can push it down so that you know it's flush with the wall, but then you're going to get some sort of weird dithering effect, and yeah, probably best to just set this to don't receive decals. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Um, actually, you can see this has got like a little bit of a shine to it, um, box, sorry, the decal itself has a bit of a shine. If we don't want that, we'll just come in here, holding down one and click in. Um, that spawns in a constant. Um, and basically what this is, is just a value that you can determine. So I'm going to plug that in and you see that zero, no, not into base colour, silly me, uh, roughness. If you want to break a connection in Unreal, by the way, you just press Alt and click the line that you want to break. Um, that's very useful information. Um, but we want to plug this into roughness. And probably quite difficult to see, but that's made this 
super super shiny. Um, actually, if I just show you in here, wait for our shaders to compile. So now, as I move it, you can see that the sun is like super shiny on it. Um, if we want to make this not shiny, we just change the value to a one and press save. And you see these little dots should disappear. Any minute now. Yeah, so this is completely matte. If you want it to have a little bit of shine, you just put in a value between one and zero. Pick whatever you like. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how I make decals. Um, and like I said, they're super, super useful if you have. Um, I'm trying to think when you'd use it. So it's good for sort of blending between two tiling textures. If there's, you know, sometimes you end up with a complete straight line and you want to have it dither slightly, you could make a decal and you can project that on top of them. Um, like I said, if you've got a, a plaster wall and you've made a tiling texture for the wall, if you want to break up that repetitive nature, you can introduce irregularity using a decal. Um, good for spray paint, blood splatters, uh, posters on walls is pretty good for. Uh, yeah, I think, I, I can't think of like, I'm sure there's one other super, super important one that I'm forgetting to mention, but you, you get the idea and you get, the main thing is that you understand how to make them. So yeah, this is how you do it. Um, yeah. As always, let me know if you have any questions or if there's something that you didn't understand. Um, just drop me a message and I'll help you as much as I can. Speak to you soon.